Hey folks, Crazy Clamor 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at game number 5 in our 20 from 1984 series. And this is the first game created by Atari Games, a branch of Atari. This is a uh, kind of 3D-ish isometric maze game. And you control a marble with a trackball. This game is very cool and it is called Marble Madness. I remember uh, seeing this at a 7-Eleven first. And I, I love this game. It's got great music, great uh, sound effects. Great sense of humor. Just a cool game. And like I said, you use a trackball to control a marble. And uh, for the most part, the game will scroll vertically downwards. One level, it scrolls upwards. But your goal is to reach the finish line, and it is called goal. It just says goal. But you need to do that before the time runs out. Otherwise, it's game over. You can die as many times as you like, but it's going to cost you a second or two for the uh, computer to put your marble back together for you. And that is the very first stage, and it is super easy. There are six stages. There is the practice race, the beginner race, the intermediate race, the aerial race, the silly race, and the ultimate race. And once you beat the ultimate race, that is the end of the game and you get a see an ending sort of but there are various creatures that try to impede your progress uh, or knock you off the ledge or something and we'll get started this is the practice race and it's so easy all you gotta do is make your way down to the end there's no major obstacles in your way other than being clumsy and falling off a ledge <laughs> your marble screams when it falls it's funny but um, from this point on any time you have left at the end and here you fight a, a black marble ball or a marble or uh, you can just avoid it entirely if you can and now there's uh, marble munchers that try to hop on your marble and eat it <laughs> that uh, there will be pipes that can give you kind of shortcuts Oops, that was clumsy. <laughs> but starting on this level, over here, hug the left or right edge. Otherwise, you'll be pushed into that hole in the middle of that platform just before the goal. And then this is the intermediate race. But uh, starting with the second maze, or the uh, second race, um, take your time through this. This is... Uh, otherwise kind of hard to navigate through such tight quarters. But starting with the uh, second uh, maze, um, any time that you have left at the end will be added to the next maze. And these are uh, acid, <laughs> acid slimes. You need to wait uh, for the right opportunity to go between them. And uh, you will get points for taking the shortcuts. Here is uh, another shortcut right here. Take this uh, carpet, go between the bumps, and then uh, <laughs> move down there, and then there's the goal. <laughs> Your uh, marble will scream. It'll get dizzy when it falls from a small platform. <laughs> and now we have uh, vacuums that try to suck up your marble. Just really funny uh, enemies in this game. You need to move fast to go past them. And then here's a tilted platform that you need to uh, move to the right quickly or you get deposited in a uh, pit. And here is a catap catapult. And if you land on the uh, black marble, you'll kill it. And then these pipes threaten to uh, push you up and knock you off the ledge. Crap. Come on. Get out of the way. I'm almost out of time. Uh, on rare occasions, a magic wand may grant you 10 extra seconds. Super useful. And uh, I'm going to just about run out of time. Need to zip past those uh, hammers real, real, real quick. But yeah, if even if you have double zeros on time left, you still are granted one more second. And I needed that second. Now we go to the silly race, which I won't have nearly enough time for. And in this one, you go backwards. And there will be an opportunity to get some extra seconds here because there will be many uh, enemies that you can run over for two seconds apiece. And uh, 
we take uh, pipes backwards uh, up. And I'm about out of time. That's it. You'll get points for taking the uh, shortcuts or for killing uh, the black marble. Generally, if you can avoid the black marble, that's the best. Uh, that's the best path to go. That is my game of Marble Madness. And if you're playing in MAME, you have to dink around with the uh, analog controls to make the uh, the trackball or whatever controller you're using more sensitive or maybe less sensitive. But that's Marble Madness. We will look at uh, the mazes or the rest of the maze that I didn't complete, the uh, silly maze, and then we'll look at the final maze, which is called the Ultimate Race. Uh, it's called the Silly Race, not Silly Maze. But, um, yeah, you need the proper uh, controls for this game. Yikes. Uh, you'll have uh, birds that can destroy your marble uh, later on in the uh, uh, Silly Race. And there, they destroyed me. We're just going to look at uh, smidgens of the remainders of the maze. This part is hard coming up here. You have to you have to go down this little incline just right or else it won't work. And there's the goal right over there. I put on uh, infinite time at this point. I think you have to really, really, really turn that... Uh, that... Uh, um, trackball really hard right in that little in, uh, decline there. And then this is the ultimate race. Now this is a pain in the butt. You have to very carefully get up that incline and not fall up, fall off that upper platform or you'll have to do it all over again. Yeah, great, great music in this game. I sure enjoyed the hell out of this. Um, but yeah, once you get on that upper platform, then you need to roll off to the right. Damn it! And then you'll be able to uh, fall in that uh, open area, that hole, and then you'll reappear through one of those little uh, warp areas, and you'll get points. And here's the acid uh, slimes again. The yellow and blue spaces will be very slippery. And here you need to fall off a ledge onto the uh, lower platform without breaking, I guess. Or no, you have to fall in between and then you'll be able to survive that way. The game doesn't really tell you how to uh, survive or pass through these uh, various traps here or whatever. Damn it! Ugh. Uh, you kind of have to figure it out for yourself, but I hate the little blue uh, platforms that are slippery, super slippery. And then, of course, we got the black marble waiting to uh, knock me off. But I knocked him off, and then I fell off. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you if you crash when you fall from an upper platform, the game will make a broom sweep up your pieces. It's really funny. I love the sense of humor in this game. And now we have uh, disappearing platforms, and you will have to follow them to uh, uh, safety. And you'll have to—you'll only be able to start back at the uh, white platforms. So if I fall off in this area, I have to start back on the most recent white platform. This part is such a pain in the ass, but I'm just gonna uh, scoot forward until I get to the uh, goal. I'm not sure why the music stopped here. But at any rate, uh, yeah, this is easily the hardest part of the uh, final maze. You have to roll your way across to where the goal is. And there we go, finally. And then get it ending. And uh, the amount of times that you lost a marble, that will uh, deduct uh, 1,000 points each from your score. But you get a nice big bonus for finishing and each second of time left is multiplied by a thousand and you get that added to your score too but that is marble madness created by atari games in 1984 very very fun game well with the uh analog uh, settings that i put in 
it was hard for me to uh, input my initials properly. I would pass over the letter that I wanted to put in. <laughs> but this is such a fantastic game. That is Marble Madness. Uh, and that was game number five in our 20 from 1984 series. And we will look at, uh, eventually, at a trick on this first stage. If you wail on the trackball or, or push it super fast in one direction, see those kind of hopscotchy things, those numbers? You can land on them and get a bonus, and we'll see that happen right here. And look how fast I'm going. I really need that speed. There we go. You get uh, 3,000 points, I think, for landing on that. And you got to take this uh, more narrow path to the goal, but there we go. That way you can start out, shoot, 10,000 points before even the second stage. That's pretty darn good. And now we're going to look at uh, two-player simultaneous play for a little bit. And you can play, uh, player number one is the blue marble. Player number two is the red marble. And, uh, yeah, you can kind of kind of leave one player behind a little bit <laughs> if, if uh, one player is much faster than the other. But if you uh, finished quicker than the other player, then you will get uh, extra time added at the beginning of the next stage. See, there's five seconds, and then there's 60 seconds added to that. And you, uh, I think you can get points for uh, destroying the other player. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's Marble Madness, uh, game number five in our 20 from 1984 series. Once I finish my 20 from 1984 series, I will, uh, <laughs> pretty clumsy here, I will, uh, be taking requests. I have a whole bunch of requests I need to get to. And their play one player ran out of time, so their game ends. But, if they put in a quarter, they could, uh, they could continue and they'll get extra time. See, you can uh, continue race with 68 seconds, which is what uh, uh, player number one got in this instance. But that was Marble Madness, game number five in our 20 from 1984 series, created by Atari Games. Very, very fun game. Well, this is Crazy Climb Race, and thanks for watching, and uh, hope you enjoy the upcoming weekend. Take it easy, everybody. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Get over here.